In this video, I'm going to show you how to create references in styles like APA, MLA, Chicago, or any other preferred reference style with just one click. First, search for MyBib on Google. Then, you need to create an account. I already have an account, so I'm logging in. It's a free tool, so you can easily create an account too. With an account, you have the benefit that you can save a large number of reference projects. As you can see here, this is very good for when you are writing a thesis or research paper because you need to save several references for different sections like the introduction and literature review in one place. So, this tool has the benefit of saving all your references in one place. If you click on New Citation here, you can create different types of references for websites, books, journals, and even for videos. We need to put the link for websites, DOI for journals, ISBN for books, and any YouTube link for videos to create references. And if you click here in this section, you will see a lot of commonly used reference styles. We need to click on the style we want to use, then click on Save. You can use any style like Chicago, Harvard, IEEE, or MLA. These are styles that are not commonly used. And these are popular styles. Even we can select different versions like APA 6, MLA 9, etc. For now, I am choosing APA 7 to show the sample of how to create references with just one click and then click on the Save button. This is the Google Scholar article. You can choose the DOI or the link of this page to create references for it. Here, click on New Citation, select Journal, and paste the link. Click on Search. You can see the exact reference is created for that article. And if you see here, it is also showing the credibility of this article. As you know, in academic writing, the credibility of the source we are using is very important. If you click on that, you will see the author's first and last name, date, page number, and DOI are already filled in. Even the journal name, volume, and issue number are already included. And we just need to click on Save. Now, let's see how to give references for websites. Mostly, websites do not have the author's name. Put the website link here, click on Search. And if you see here, it is probably credible, even though it does not have an author's name. But we can use this because it is a website of an organization. The organization name is used instead of the author's name. This is also in accordance with APA and MLA, we can use the title or website name if the author's name is not given, and for a book, we can use the ISBN or the book name directly. I am using the book name here. Just put the book name and click on Search. The book name, date, publisher, and ISBN are shown here. Click on Save. Sometimes, it is hard to reference PDF files because we need to put some things manually. Like I put the PDF link here, you can see the author and date are missing. And it is saying, probably credible, so from the PDF, we will search for the author's name. If there is no author, we can use a name like, London Business School, as the author. And if there is no date, there is no need to put one. It will appear here as ND. No date. Mostly, we need to cite PDFs when we are using company financial statements or other types of statistical data. It will still be credible because we are directly writing from the organization's official report. Now, we will learn how to manually create references by using this tool. Click on Enter Manually, copy the article title, and paste it here in this section. Now, copy the author's name. Put it here like the first and second name. Put the URL here. And let's find if this article has a publication date or not. This is 2011 here, it is the publication date. Put the date and click on Save. Many students struggle with how to cite authors when there are three or more authors. This tool eases that worry as well. You don't even need to learn the rules. The tool will automatically set everything, even if there are three or more authors. So, I am using this article to show you how this works. Copy the DOI link and paste it here in the journal section. This type of error can sometimes appear. You just need to copy the first author's name and put it here in the first name section, everything else remains fine. Then click on Save. Even after creating references, you can still change your reference style. Just choose the style name and save. 
Now I'll tell you how to use the citation generated by this tool. Click on the reference you want to cite, I am clicking on the reference with more than three authors, and click on, copy in text citation. Paste the citation in front of the material that you took from the article you are referencing. You can see, this tool automatically generated the citation in the form of it all because there are more than three authors. Now, to paste references at the end of the document when your thesis is completed, click on, download references, then copy and paste, and click on, click to copy. The references are copied now. At the end of your work, paste the references here. They are exactly formatted in APA style. For example, they are in alphabetical order, and there is indentation in every reference. So, you don't need to worry about formatting manually. And no matter if you choose another reference style like MLA or IEEE, the tool will format the references according to your selected reference style. Don't forget to subscribe for more research-related helpful videos.